I'm back with another tip of a highly socially intelligent engineer or person. A very socially intelligent person will recognize their shadow self in others, but not completely avoid that person because they have that personality type. This is something that I rarely see, and I find it absolutely masterful when you can catch it. It will be hard to see if they're very socially intelligent, but a person that can see the personality of someone that they need to talk to and have that personality reflect something they don't like about themselves and being able to overcome that or step around it and still converse with this person instead of having an awkward, clunky relationship with this person shows a huge amount of social intelligence. And if you can catch this, I've only caught it two times in person in real time, but man, when you catch it, it's an absolutely masterful thing to see. The reason this shows off so much social intelligence is because not only has this person done the inner work or the shadow work to see the parts of themselves that they don't like, but they can see that reflected in someone they need to converse with and have figured out how they can manage that and regulate those emotions within themselves, which is, again, absolutely masterful. And if you see this, in an engineer, you should try to keep that engineer around. Because <laughs> that's gonna be something that is gonna be very hard to find and something that I think engineers should focus on. So I made a video about why shadow work is so important for engineers. I'll leave it up here. But you should really care about doing the shadow work and then when you start to see your shadow reflected in others, having that presence of mind and being able to regulate your emotions and still interact with that person and not turn it clunky and awkward. So that is a very socially intelligent thing you could be doing if you start paying better attention to yourself and those around you. If you want more on social intelligence, I have an entire playlist on social intelligence or SQ up here, or if you're ready to get back to IQ topics, I have that playlist down here. Or keep doing what you're doing and getting the results you've been getting. Up to you.